Now, fantastic, fantastic, right? Okay, so please join us in welcoming this year's Diamond in the Raw Teens and their representative speakers, Ashley Lee and Jameson Williams. How is everyone doing today? Good, enjoying yourselves? Nice. I just want to start by saying a thank you to the founder of Diamond in the Raw, Ms. LaFay Baker. Can I get a round of applause for Ms. LaFay Baker? Well, um, when I first set foot on this stage five years ago, um, I was dealing with a lot of trauma and uncertainty in my life. Times were really rough, to put it simply, and at 17 years old, I was already working full-time and trying to support myself and my family. In spite of my circumstances, however, something inside, a spark of unrelenting will to succeed and realize my goals propelled me forward. I stood here on this stage in one of the proudest, most empowering moments of my life and shared the story of my personal journey in front of hundreds of people I had never met before. After I delivered that speech, a gentleman approached me and said that in me, he saw someone who had the potential to be the voice of a generation of kids who were just like me. An advocate who could inspire many. That really stuck with me, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> that really stuck with me. I was accepted into UCLA the following year, another point of pride and empowerment. <laughs> and uh, though my time in college has not been the easiest, and I've had to overcome numerous instances of prejudice and classism on campus, whenever I felt out of place and overwhelmed to the point of wanting to give up, I remembered what that gentleman said to me that afternoon. Those words continue to influence my decisions and my ambitions to this day. I believe that my perspective and the perspectives of people like me need to be represented in the public sphere. People like me are unfortunately often rendered silent and invisible. The formula for success in creative industries is systematically developed to fit the abilities of those who are privileged, who are Enjoy the luxuries of privilege. We need more directors and writers and cinematographers and people, faces of color, women of color, people of color, people from disadvantaged backgrounds. There needs to be equal access to the resources and ultimately the acclaim and recognition that is normally reserved for the historically privileged. I want to see more trailblazers of color celebrating and sharing their own histories. My goal is to help facilitate that growth and be able to give back to a community of people who are just like me. That is what motivates me to follow my voice and vision in media and film. As I finish up my final year in college and continue on what I hope will remain an upward trajectory, I take with me the impact that Diamond in the Raw has had on my outlook on life teaching me the importance of believing in myself, and more importantly, the power of giving back. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce one of my newest sisters, because once you become a diamond, you enter into a sisterhood. Um, please welcome Jameson Williams. Hi everyone, I'm not used to this, so bear with me. Before joining Diamond in the Raw, I had never done anything related to film. By joining this program, I had so many amazing opportunities, such as being on a film set and learning about cameras and equipment, and my favorite, which was going to CBS Studios. We also got to meet incredible speakers who work all over the entertainment business. Not only did we learn about entertainment, what we learned about being a leader and how to be confident young ladies. We also had outstanding mentors, such as Miss LaFay, Quentin, Miss Emma, and Miss Tammy, and many more. Overall, this camp has shown me that I can do anything I put my mind to, and if I work really hard, I will be successful.
Thank you. Weren't those young ladies fantastic? And now, to present our next award, please welcome Diamond in the Raw member, board member, Anise Fuller. Hello, hello, hello. Board members are all about passion, tenacity, because that's what's needed to keep the Diamond in the Raw Foundation looking forward, changing lives, and helping teen girls and boys reach for and achieve their dreams. And the Teen Choice and Thrill of Victory Awards personifies exactly what that means. That's right. These awards are given to the teen or teens displaying the tenacity and passion needed to succeed in this shark tank known as the entertainment biz. You can say that again. <laughs> So, without further delay, the recipient of this year's Teen Choice Award, chosen by her peers for her intelligence, strength, and graciousness, is Ms. Tatiana Sampson. I don't know what to say, honestly, but I just want to thank God, first of all, because without him, I wouldn't have done any of this. Also, I'd like to thank my girls, my friends, for helping me out through the struggle of life, you know? But without my parents' help, I wouldn't have had the confidence to do what I have done in Diamond in the Raw. And I am so grateful for this. This is an amazing experience for me. And I just want to thank everybody in my life who have pushed me through so I can see this day, so I can be proud of who I am as an African-American female and get to do something like this because I have never had this opportunity before. I never thought I would have this opportunity. And I just want to thank everyone for this. Thank you very much. Okay, there was a little mistake here. So we're gonna bring Tatiana back to the stage here for a second, please. Come back, please. Tatiana. She went back out. She went back out. There she is. Here she comes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, come back up here, young lady, please. Unfortunately, I'm gonna reiterate this award here. Miss Tatiana is the thrill of victory winner here. She is the one who did the most in the organization. She um, basically won the $1,000 scholarship. She pretty much did everything possible. She sold the most amount of money um, for her bracelets. I'm not sure how we got this backwards, but I want to make sure I gave the appropriate person their award. That was worth being called back up here, right? So the Teen Choice Award that we're presenting is, I will let you know in a few minutes. <laughs> How's the food? Good. It's better than nothing, right? Yes. Little girl says, she's like, yeah, it's good. Well, you got it? Okay. It is Miss Jaden Williams. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something. Yes, you have to say something. Okay. Okay. 
Um, well, I just want to thank everybody that supported me. I just want to thank my family and Diamond and the Raw because I've never had this opportunity. I've never even done anything with film. So I just want to thank Diamond and the Raw for just giving me all these opportunities. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to take a break and just want to make sure I'm going to the place we're supposed to go. LaFay's coming back. Okay, just want to make sure. Would you all welcome LaFay Baker back to the stage, please? everyone. I also would like to bring Tiffany Smithiana up to the um, podium for right now. I'm going to have her come up here real quickly. Tiffany, where are you? Okay. Before I um, get to the next award, um, I want to have Miss Tiffany come up and talk about, she's a board member from CBS. She's our, one of our board members. She works for CBS. I want to tell you a little bit about the organization. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good. One thing that I think that gives me most pride in my personal as well as professional life is being a board member of Diamond in the Raw. I've been a part of this organization for the past five years and being able to witness the growth of the girls from when they start the program to when they complete it is truly rewarding. One of the things that I encourage everyone in the room today, get involved in some form or fashion with this organization. One thing that we truly believe is that each one teach one. We always have to have that hand to give back in order to lift up and lift forward. One of the things that's truly near and dear to my heart is that if they can see it, they can be it. And that's one thing that each and every board member that we have in the organization does. So congratulations to all of our Diamonds in the Raw. You truly are special to my heart, and I continue to be there with you and for you. Thank you. Okay, next, Tiffany and I are going to present yes. the Volunteer of the Year Award. Um, this year we have, we had several people who were helping with the organization, and the Volunteer of the Award also goes to an in, uh, individual, basically really, really has put a lot of time into the program, worked with the kids, did a lot of stuff. And this year's Volunteer of the Year Award goes to Quentin Carswell. Yeah! Yeah! Where is Quentin? Quentin, where are you? Where are you? Quentin! Yay! 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 I don't know what I would have done this year without him. He commuted all the way from Rialto to Inglewood two days out of the week volunteering his time. I really, really appreciate him. Um, wow, as much as I work with LaFay, I didn't know I was getting this award, <laughs> but um, I can definitely say working with Diamond in the Raw, it's been an awesome experience, I mean, I'm trying to work on being a young actor myself, working with these girls, I mean, I feel like I've been a big brother to them more than anything, I mean, you have that big brother to speak positivity onto them, everyone needs that positive role model, role model to look up to, and I feel like... I mean, as much as I've done for them, they've done for me. So if you guys can do any way in trying to help build this um, program, that would be awesome because, I mean, it's doing some great things. It is doing some great things. And, I mean, if we can get another round of applause for Ms. LaVey, because without her, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. 
and you'll see me in light soon. <laughs>